Hello everyone and welcome to the Epicenter of Hope, Hope Distribution Studios. My name is Bert Starzer and I want to thank you very much for tuning in today and reaching out and finding my channel. Uh, there's been quite a lot going on as of late in the news and to start things off, I would like to pray. Father, thank you so very much for this day. Thank you so very much for my listeners, Lord God, and thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. Father, I pray for every heart, Lord God, that is uh, in fear right now, and I pray for all those, Father God, who are whose lives are being threatened at this moment. I pray that you would touch their hearts, encourage them, reassure them, Father. And Father, I pray that all would know your Son as their Lord and Savior. Father, I pray for my listening audience today that you would encourage them, strengthen them, and let them know, reveal to them, let them know how much you love them and how much you care for them. I pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. Uh, As of yesterday, as many of you who watch the news probably have learned that over 21 Coptic Christians uh, were murdered by an extremist Islamic group. I will not mention the name of that group because I do not care to give any advertising or namesake to such savages. And the reason that I'm bringing this broadcast to you is this is Hope Distribution Studio, and a lot of times it's truly hard when you, even for myself, when you uh, see, I, I have not viewed any of it, but when you hear about such things that are happening in the world, it can be somewhat discouraging. Uh, you wonder, where is love? Where is hope? And where can these things be found? Well, that is why I am coming to you today. I want to share with you where true love comes from. It is written in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. True love, unconditional love, is only found in one place. And that is through a life devoted, surrendered, and receiving the Lordship and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and devoted to our Heavenly Father. That's the only way anyone can ever know true unconditional love. I was, uh, over the weekend, I was visiting some friends and we were talking and I started, there was, um, topic of conversation that came up well, actually I was just started sharing with them about uh, about two years ago in November how God really just even though I've been a follower of Christ for a number of years uh, God really set me free and it was amazing I just I enjoy sharing it I don't know how it was received quite honestly but The whole point of what I do and what I have been doing from that point forward is there's different ways in sharing the love of God and there's different ways uh, people receive Christ and become a follower of Christ and understand His sacrifice. What God has revealed to me is that He desires more than anything to reveal Himself to each individual person. God loves you just as you are. Jesus died so that we could have a relationship with the living God and not only have a relationship with Him, we could pass from this life into eternal life. We would know what true life is, what what it means to live life. A lot of people, definition of life may be Partying to wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Some may uh, desire, you know, life means working out, getting their body, you know, physically fit. While there's nothing wrong with having a physically fit body. However, being physically fit is not the meaning of life. 
Meeting your soulmate is not the meaning of life. Partying is not the meaning of life. Money is not the meaning of life. The meaning of life is knowing the only true living God and Jesus Christ, His only Son. That is knowing life. Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it to the full. You see... Things that are going on in this world, they're happening for a reason, and they're happening at an accelerated rate. I am not going to sit here and pretend to tell you that I know all the end all and what's all going to be going on, but I am going to tell you this, and I do know this because it's been laid upon my heart. This world is changing rapidly. Hearts People are either choosing to follow Christ and follow Him in sharing His love or their hearts are being hardened and they don't want to hear anything about Christ. In the United States of America, there will no longer be a gray area. People will be either so passionate and and sharing the love of Jesus and sharing the what it means to be a follower of his the benefits and just sharing his love with others or people will be hating even the name of Jesus will cause them to become enraged there's no longer gray area In the United States of America as well, hearts are being hardened toward the Jewish community. Either you will stand for Israel or you will be completely against Israel. There will be no gray area. Those are the things that I do know that have been laid upon my heart. And I also know this. I also know that there are many of you out there who struggle each and every day with the desire for knowing fulfillment, what it means to be fulfilled, what it means to be loved unconditionally for who you are. And you don't want a God that is going to manipulate you or a religion that's going to manipulate you. What I'm sharing with you today is neither. What I'm sharing with you is the only way you can find unconditional love, fulfillment, and know the truth about life and what true life is. If you're looking for true love in another person, unconditional love in another person, I hate to say this, even though I've been married for a number of years, we as humans, we love conditionally. We have good times, we have horrific times, and we have great times. To find someone to love you in those horrific times, you can find people who will stick by you and who care for you. But sometimes when people are going through a horrific time, it's very hard to love them unconditionally. God sees through all of our stuff and he truly loves unconditionally caring for you wanting for your needs to be met i'm not going to sit here and say god is the god with a pay, with a checkbook and he's going to write you a check today for however much you need but i will tell you this you submit your life to jesus you read the bible Follow the precepts in Proverbs and in Psalms, and you will reap. Sow your life. Give your life to Christ. Allow Him to fill you with His Spirit and change your heart, and you will reap. You will receive so much more in this life than you could ever imagine. Before I let you go today, because as said, With so much going on, I truly just felt like I needed to come on and share a message of hope and let all of you know that 
Hope still exists. Love still exists. It's found in the person of Jesus Christ. It's found at the cross. There is only one God. There is only one Lord and Savior. His name is Jesus, the Christ, the Chosen One. He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. And there is no life outside of Him. There is no love outside of Him. Before we go, I just want to pray real quick. Father, thank you very much, even for this short time with my listening audience. Father, I pray that you would be with everyone today, that you would encourage them, that you would touch their hearts, Lord God, and reveal yourself to them. And Father, for those who are sick, I pray that you would heal them. Those that are suffering a cold or the flu, I pray, Father, that you would heal them now in Jesus' name. Father, for those who are discouraged, I pray you would encourage them. Father, for those who are in need, Father, I pray for your provision to be upon them. And Lord, for those who are sad, Father God, I pray you would fill them with your joy. And Father, for all of them, I pray for your protection, that you would watch and guard and protect over all of them, Lord God. Father, draw us all to your Son. Draw us all to you, Father. Lord, may our eyes not look anywhere else but to your Son. Father, may our ears be unclogged. May our eyes be opened. May our spirits be awakened to your call upon our lives, Father God, during this time. And Father, I thank you so very much for the opportunity to share your love and your Son. Father, I give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise in the name of your Son, my Lord and Savior, Jesus, the Christ, the Chosen One. In His name I pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. This has been Hope Distribution Studios. I am your host, Bert Starzer. Until next time, please remember, take care, be well, and God bless.